So, here we go. This is going to be exciting because this is going to be the first time that we're going to be able to see Sir Spud playing as Aegislash. I'm not quite sure how much experience he's gotten for against this character. Let's see how much paper I can pull off here. This is going to be an interesting match because both these characters have 510 health, which is very, very low for Pokémon Standards. Second lowest in the game. So, this could be interesting because Aegislash has a much higher damage output than Gengar. Um, so, it might be interesting to see how Sir Spud they gotta be able to work around that new that huge damage output. Ooh, Paris like trying to be out the Shadow Ball with the um 4X, but not quite working out. Uh Super Blood confirming into a nice combo for them. Nice damage. Ooh, nice work by Paper Sack moving around the counter. Nice Spud grabbing Paper Sack getting a little bit too scared. Dragon coming out, creates some pressure. Get an easy shield form. Ooh, wall combo coming up with shadow punches. Not quite able to confirm the combos. Parasite playing very defensive. Ooh, going with the iron head. Ooh, no crit confirm combos. Ah, so it does not quite get the fury cutter follow up. Um, I'm not quite sure if you actually can follow up if they counter the first hit. It might be something similar to the 6x where you don't actually get follow up if you don't do damage with it. I think that's a thing. It's like just sitting her miss right there. Whenever she goes in the shield form, they'll activate and be able to punish anything around it. Ooh, nice, nice combo off of there from Paper Sack. Nice damage. Oh, and speaking of nice damage, Paper Sack keeping up with damage. Ooh. Ah, oh, does not gonna take the combo, unfortunately. Now, Sir Split trying to get the attack up off. Uh, interesting is that even though you get the attack up, it does not actually get rid of uh, Aegislash's enhanced state. Ooh, multiple Scoobies on Wake Up. First Blood does have his first ready to go if he needs it. Ooh, nice JY. That's actually a very uh, good idea to use that JY because it's a very active attack. And it'll last through Gengar's eye It's like just trying to find any opportunity. The Surf Blood effectively wasting Aegislash's burst there. Ooh, and there's that nasty count. I was like, Mega Gengar's counter is like low key the most stupid move in the game. If I'm gonna be honest. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so, anyway, so, Sir Spud taking a nice, nice win right there. Let's see. Oh, we are getting a character change from Paper Sack. And she's going back to the Wii file. I haven't actually seen this in a while. She's been second to. They just asked pretty, pretty solidly for a good amount of time, but now she's going to be changing the Weavile, who we know for sure has a good magic against um, Ginko. So let's see how Paper Sack can hold that up here. So, interesting to see that Thirst Buds actually running Jirachi. Not something I have seen. Um, I not really use a whole lot before. I guess he really wants to get the most out of his first. That's like um, a decent idea against uh, Weavile because he does give a good amount of synergy gain. And the last thing you want from Weavile is to, when you have your burst, and you just get hit by that knockoff confirm, and you just lose it right when you need it. I think Sirsblood might be trying to avoid that. Speaking of synergy, Sirsblood's getting a nice go on his um, charge this game. Already about three forces away there. Air Sack is not able to get any hits of you. Air Sack takes any damage yet. There you go, Paper Game the Ford White and going to have a nice advantage save going in. Air Sack goes for a nice reset. Trying to find any opportunity. Goes with Dragonite. Get lots of shield damage going. Oh, now she's going to able to go into his burst here in round one after the Jirachi boost. And this is like the oldest scary in the paper section. He doesn't have much room to work with. Ooh, this could be it. Ah, so it does not capitalize on it, but oh, there we go. There's a nice grab right there. Finish that off. But now, Paper Jack does not have to worry about um, Sir Spud's burst as much this round. Although, if he is running special two, he's going to have a nice chunk of it going in. It's like it's getting close to her own bird, however. Ooh, and there's the unblockable setup from first guard. That's very, very scary. Although, sometimes it has some holes in it. 
Here comes a full confirm off from Sir Spud. As Edge Sod is going in. Nice man, Dan is on to um, Paperjack right there. Just um, expecting this a bit too much. There's lots of cancels going on here. Trying to get some sort of distance. She's able to get those nuggets and get her burst ready to go. Bugum using it, going into this um three phase. Uh, so Spud opting to go for uh two guys instead of uh, the normal curse. That's an interesting choice. Oh, I I can respect that. Um Ooh, is this a uh punch? Oh it is nice, it's a crit as well. The first damage is gonna be able to change things a little bit in her favor and take away. First Blood's first lead, which he had just got, but he does have Jirachi in the back, he is going to be a shit, he's really desperate to use it. He's going to go and pop Jirachi, and... Oh, no burst yet! But here it is. Alright, so now... Yeah, Hurt Jack was in a very dangerous situation, there's just not a whole lot of health to work with the fight against that mighty Gengar. And that is going to be it, Search Blood's going to be taking it 2-0 over Search